All that adds urgency to a movement that on this first day of Black History Month is about the past and present. National Affairs correspondent Omar Sachedina on the way forward. The pivotal social justice movement that became a global rallying cry against racism has been nominated for the 2021 Nobel Peace Prize. This just really tells us how far we've come. But Sandy Hudson also insists it's a reminder of just how far there is to go. She's the co-founder of Black Lives Matter Canada. In Toronto, black people are still 20 times more likely to be shot and killed by police than white people. The movement's nomination comes as Canadians mark the start of Black History Month, which came into effect after Jean Augustine, Canada's first black woman elected to Parliament, introduced the motion in 1995 as a way to promote education and inclusion. We're not there yet. It's a working progress. Many companies across Canada have now set targets to hire black, indigenous and people of color. But some suggest incentivizing corporations to make sure they follow through. You can't do business uh, with, with governments or you can't get contracts with whatever unless, you know, you show some, uh, you know, some signs that you, that your company is moving in a certain direction. Augustine's service paved the way for Canada's first black leader of a federal political party. Annamie Paul insists there is an abhorrent lack of race-based data in Canada that makes it difficult to drive policy. A potentially life-or-death matter exposed during COVID, showing racialized communities have been disproportionately affected. The, the data tells the story. If you don't collect the data, then it's easy to hide the problem. And even though Paul has smashed through a significant barrier, there's no question who has a monopoly in the pinnacles of power in this country. Canada's top court is just one example. People just aren't going to get be able to get away with sort of ignorance or, or claiming that they didn't know in the way that they could before. The increased consciousness is a positive step forward, even as some defiantly block the path. The Norwegian lawmaker who nominated Black Lives Matter for the Nobel Prize says since doing so, he's received death threats. Omar Sajidina, CTV News, Toronto.